Good morning, everyone. Uh, in this presentation, I use a small character, so like this. So if you cannot read this character, so please come uh, in front of the stage. Okay. So let's start my presentation, Incremental Garbage Collection for Ruby Interpreter. My name is Koichi Sasada from Heroku. Uh, I live in Japan, so I come here where we, with uh, 11, uh, maybe 10, 13 hours. At first, I want to show you the, I want to say that the, this, this year, 2014, is a very important year for me because uh, the wedding, anniversary, first wedding anniversary. <laughs> With her, I get a wedding party at the, uh, this April, and this this year the tenth anniversary of my YARB development. So ten years ago, I started to develop the YARB uh, yet another virtual machine, and the first presentation at the Ruby conference, two thousand four. So this is the tenth uh, years. Ten years ago, I do a presentation, and uh, especially uh, recently, uh, we improved the garbage collector. So increasing the increasing the throughput and reduce the pause time. So this in, uh, this kind of uh, improvement will be uh, included to the Ruby 2.2 uh, released to, uh, at the, uh, this Christmas, next Christmas. Generational garbage collection, I, into, I was introduced. I introduced the, uh, at the Ruby 2.1 last year. So the, we did you, we improve the throughput. We, 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 uh, sorry. we improve the throughput of the garbage collection dramatically by using the uh, generational garbage collection. But uh, seeing the post time, it, it is a problem. So generational garbage collection separates uh, the young generation and the old generation. And JC for young generation, it is enough small post time. So these bars show the uh, major G uh, sorry, minor GC uh, post time, but sev uh, several times the uh, there is a long post time. It's caused by the major GC. Uh, sorry, uh, blue lines are a simple mark and sweep GC. Uh, so it is a uh, before uh, 2.0 and before. And the orange lines are the post time of the Ruby 2.1. Ruby 2.1 reduced the, uh, the post time, but sometime, for if we, we do the measure GC, uh, there is a long post time, several times. So if it, it is a problem for response time. So to improve the, uh, such a uh, long pause time, Ruby 2.2 uh, using the, is using the uh, incremental GC algorithm. Incremental GC algorithm is well-known algorithm to reduce the, uh, short uh, reduce the pause time. But throughput is uh, not so good. So throughput doesn't change. So Generational garbage collection uh, improves the uh, achieves a high performance, but there is a, uh, some long post time, and incremental GC uh, reduces uh, uh, short post time, uh, achieves a short post time. So our goal is uh, mixing the generational garbage collection and into, uh, incremental garbage collection, uh, and it. it we can uh, achieve the uh, high throughput and uh, short post time. 
so the result of our uh, trial, uh, we can, uh, so orange line is uh, 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 generational GC, only generational GC, but we introduce the uh, uh, incremental GC. The gray line is uh, the uh, uh, post time with uh, incremental GC. So there are no long, we can see that there are no long short time, uh, post time on, uh, with incremental GC. So this is uh, our uh, achievement. And this is a conclusion of this presentation. <laughs> After, uh, so we have another, uh, some more time. So I want to introduce uh, how to, inter how to inc implement the incremental DC on Ruby. So if you are purely a Ruby programmer, so you can move to another room. If you have any uh, interest to the uh, technic technical side, so please leave here. Uh, sorry, please sit he here. Continue to here. Nobody goes. Okay, thank you. Uh, so let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Koichi Sasada. I'm a CRuby committer since uh, 2007, and uh, uh, originally I'm a developer since uh, 2004. And uh, I'm from Japan, and I'm an employee of Heroku. Thank you, Heroku. Heroku uh, employs three uh, Ruby, in, Ruby core team. Uh, it means uh, 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 full-time CRuby in developer, so working, uh, so we three uh, working in Japan, and our mission is to uh, improve the quality of Shiruby interpreter. Quality means uh, uh, there is no bugs, there is uh, no regression to the next version, and we, uh, small amount of uh, memory consumption, and speed up the Ruby interpreter. This is uh, our machine. Uh, Matt is our boss, and he decides everything. And uh, Nobu, so yesterday uh, there is a uh, Ask Nobu BOX session. Uh, so Matt, uh, Nobu is well known, uh, patch wants a uh, well known, great uh, Ruby developer, uh, Ruby interpreter developer. So many patches are, uh, so many fixing by, by himself. But, uh, uh, and Last one is me. My main concern is to improve the performance. Before the introdu introduce the uh, uh, Ruby, uh, sorry, incremental garbage collection, I want to introduce the uh, upcoming Ruby 2.2. There is, uh, at the, uh, uh, on syntax, there is no note of changes. There is one change in, uh, I want to say, I want to show you that uh, the, there is uh, some change for the symbol syntax. So we, from Ruby 2.2, we can write uh, this style of hash literal. And this, it means it's a symbol to something, hash literal. So it is not a string to the uh, value literal. So it is confusing. So JSON represents with this syntax as a, 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 it will be a, a string, but it is it will be a symbol. So it is a trap behavior, I think. And I al al <laughs> I already misunderstand this behavior and something I I wrote something uh, but program. Because of this, uh, because of this syntax, so please care about that. And there are some class methods, class classes. There are some classes and method changes, but not maybe not notable changes. But we have many internal changes from Ruby 2.2. Uh, we re so for example, we remove the ob obsolete functions. So if you if you maintain some old gem or some old extension, so please uh, check it. 
And we hide uh, internal uh, definition of data types such as the big number and so on. And uh, we have many improvements on the uh, internals. Uh, for example, we improve the garbage collection performance uh, using, uh, uh, so for example, Sembo GC. Sembo GC is uh, very critical for some uh, simple, lover, simple lover programmers and uh, uh, improves the uh, performance of uh, generation GC and uh, incremental GC today I want to show you. And improve performance of keyword parameters and keyword uh, argument method invocation and using the frozen string literals if possible. We, we change the virtual machine to support it. Uh, so, for example, I, uh, we, if we wrote uh, such a program, so this program uh, shows uh, the symbol number uh, and the generating the one million symbols, generating the one million symbols and check the symbol number. And on Ruby 2.2, there are, uh, so this is a before and this is uh, after the symbol generation. So all symbols are not uh, remained. But Ruby 2.2, we can reduce the, uh, uh, so we can correct the dynamically uh, created symbols. So this is what uh, symbol GC does. And uh, Ruby 2.2, we can achieve the very fast uh, keyword uh, parameter method implication. So making the, uh, uh, define the key, uh, method using the keyword parameters and it calls uh, this method uh, 10 million times with keywords. So Ruby 2.2, uh, before this optimization, we need uh, uh, 17 seconds to do that. But uh, after optimization, we can uh, we only consume the one, one second, so it means uh, 15 times faster. So please use keyword parameters. We have no uh, performance problem of that, on that. Okay. <clears throat> so talking about the uh, garbage collector, this is an uh, ancient technique, technology of the garbage collector. <laughs> so Ruby has several history about garbage collector. At first, uh, Matt used uh, imp uh, this simple conservative marking, mark and sweep garbage collector uh, to implement the GC. Now, it is very simple algorithm and easy to implement C uh, extensions. So it is. Uh, Great behavior, great behavior, but this uh, policy uh, makes difficult to improve the performance of C Ruby interpreter. And uh, Ruby 1.9.3, we introduced lazy sweep, and Ruby 2.0 into the bitmap marking, and to improve to make copyright friendly. And Ruby 2.1, uh, last year I I showed about this. Uh, general garbage collection. And the Ruby 2, uh, so this is current status of garbage collector. So we have, now we have gar generational garbage collection. So to introduce the, uh, uh, how to make an incremental GC, I need to show you the, how to work such a garbage collectors. So the simple marking sweep garbage collector is uh, very easy to understand. So there is a, there is a uh, root set, root objects, and mark reachable objects from root objects. So root objects, uh, so this is one of the root objects, and mark it, and traverse uh, uh, another object, so this object can mark, traverse, traverse them, and after, uh, after traversal, 
we can understand that they are uh, not traversal object, traversed object uh, use, uh, needed. So we can correct the uh, such a uh, untraversed objects. So it is very easy to understand, I believe. And generation, generation garbage collection is uh, uh, made by made with this hypothesis. So most of so most objects die young. It means that uh, there is many many temporary objects like string or uh, array or something. So there are no no many uh, long lived objects. So we can concentrate to reclaiming the only for young objects. Separating young object generation to and the old object old generations and create object as young object generation and promote old object old generation to after surviving species. And the, if uh, so Usually, we can uh, GC on only on young space. We call it minor GC. And uh, if there are no memory, then uh, con uh, correct uh, everything. So we call, we call it major GC or full GC. So this approach improves the total throughput. So this is a figure of, a, of the uh, general GC. At first, uh, we traverse, uh, uh, traverse like a simple mark and sweep algorithm, and traverse it, and traverse and check it old, make it old. And second, we we make assumption old object only uh, only refer to the old objects. So. If we reach to the old objects, so we can skip the the uh, we can skip the traversal uh, traversal more. So it it will improve the performance. So we need we don't need to traverse uh, old objects. But there is a problem uh, because uh, of Ruby program can uh, refer from old object to the new objects. So Ruby program can uh, make uh, such a uh, relationship from the old object to the new objects. And this type, so ignore the, ignore the traversing the, from old objects, the, this new object uh, will not be traversed. So it will be a critical bug. So detecting the such a, a old to new object, then uh, remember this old object and traverse from uh, remember it to this new uh, and traverse this new object. So there is no problem with this technique. I saw, uh, I say that uh, simply, so if we detect the new, new uh, old object to the new object relationship, and we need to use the right barrier technique to uh, detect such a relationship. So old object to the new object, so it, it will be a, a, a right to the old object. So, we detect with the right barrier technique such a uh, re reference creation. But uh, uh, Ruby doesn't have, Ruby 2.0 and bef uh, or uh, before uh, imp implementation does not have uh, uh, right barriers. So we need to introduce the right barriers, but it has very, uh, it is very difficult thing uh, especially for the compatibility. If we need to, if we need decide to uh, require the right barriers, then we need to rewrite the implementation of 
interpreter core and and C extensions. So if we have a, a, a inf infinite time and many money, I can uh, we can re rewrite the uh, interpreter everything with many efforts, but we don't have such a, uh, resources. And uh, we need to, and also, and also we cannot touch uh, a third party C extensions. We, uh, so if we have, we can see the uh, source code on the Git GitHub or something, we can send a patch, but some third party J extensions uh, is not opened, it's not published, so we cannot touch it. So it will be a, a big issue about, uh, uh, about uh, compatibility. So the, this is why we cannot use the generation garbage collection before Ruby 2.0, uh, sorry, before Ruby 2.1. And the RGNGC using the unprotect, light body unprotected object. So this idea, uh, this idea, uh, enable to use generation garbage collection without any com breaking compatibility before Ruby 2.0 and before. The key idea is to separate object into two types, right barrier protected object and right barrier unprotected object, and decide this type as the creation type. For example, string object can be uh, right barrier. Uh, we, we, we can easily to introduce the right barrier to the strings, so if there is a uh, string creation, we can check it, a uh, right value protected object. And for example, proc object. Pro if you make a proc object, proc object is very difficult to introduce the right value. And now we, don't, we cannot introduce the right values for such a proc object. So we check the, uh, right, cr this proc object is right value unprotected object. So we separate the light barrier, light barrier protected objects and light barrier unprotected objects. And uh, tr uh, trade with, uh, uh, trade correctly with the light barrier protected object, the light barrier unprotected object, we can, uh, we find that the, uh, we can make a, a light, uh, general garbage collection. We find that, that we can make a general garbage collection without any compatibility breaking. Uh, with this rule, uh, for example, uh, usually traversing the uh, new object, then the, this object will be an old object. But if the traversing the light wire unprotected object, then uh, we cannot promote the, we do not promote the, uh, this light body unprotected object to the old object. But uh, instead of this uh, promoting the, the, this object, we uh, remember this object. And second, at the second garbage collection, uh, minor garbage collection, we, we, uh, we choose, uh, we, use this unprotected object as a root object. And we can traverse correctly. So uh, technically details, I, I, uh, I, today I skip uh, technically details. So please, uh, if you have any interest about the details, uh, then please ask me after that. This is a, a, a post time of, uh, consuming time of each GC. So blue line is a normal mark and sweep GC, marking time. And uh, this uh, gray line is uh, uh, marking time with minor GC. So as you can see, so huge, dramatically uh, reduce uh, such a uh, marking time. Sweeping time is not changed. So total amount of uh, marking time will change, uh, is changed, uh, is reduced. So, so huge change. But there is uh, no 
uh, change about sweeping time. This is a, a, a benchmark, a micro benchmarking result. This is a last year's presentation. <laughs> Not current in, uh, achievement. And uh, so with application, uh, so with uh, uh, big application, we can uh, we can see the uh, the uh, the reduce of the total time. So the total execution time can be reduced. Uh, I have uh, several uh, other uh, data to write uh, pa my paper, so <laughs> if you have any, any interest, please ask me after that. Okay. So, RGNGC, generational GC, time, this, is, this shows the ch time chart of generational GC. So, normal marking, mark and sweep with lazy sweep, then consume the uh, long marking time and short uh, sweep and run Ruby program and sweep and run Ruby program. With generational garbage question, we can show the, the marking time like that. So on, we only need a short uh, marking time and short sweep time, part of sweep time and run Ruby program, and do sweep, run Ruby program, and so on. But the major GC, major GC consumes a long pause time at the marking time. So this is why we try to, we need to try to uh, implement the incremental GC. So origin GC achieves a high throughput, and minor GC stop only short time, short pause time. But major GC still stops long pause time. So we decide to introduce the uh, uh, incremental GC to reduce the uh, uh, major GC pause time. So only for major GC, not for uh, minor GC. So this is today's topic, how to implement the uh, uh, restricted in incremental garbage collection algorithm. <clears throat> incremental GC is a well-known GC algorithm, algorithm to reduce the pause time. Uh, so it simply says uh, do GC steps incrementally. So interleaving the, with Ruby execution, uh, Ruby, we say, we, we say uh, Ruby execution as a mutator and GC process. So marking some, some parts and run Ruby program and continue marking phase and uh, do the uh, Ruby program and so on. And lazy sweep, sweep, we already uh, implement the lazy sweep. So lazy sweep is uh, incremental GC, uh, part of incremental GC for sweeping phase. So we do a small, so the goal is to make a such a this process, uh, such a uh, interleaving the GC process and uh, mutators process. To explain the uh, incremental garbage collection, we want to introduce the tri -car, tri uh garbage collection algorithm terminology. So define three colors objects. Uh, white, is, white object is untraversal object and gray, object, gray objects are marking objects. Now we have, we, the gray object can, uh, can point uh, white objects. And black objects are marked objects. So white, gray, black. Okay. And the incremental GC algorithm, we uh, so say, uh, at first we need to color all objects as white objects. Oh, this presentation, I use uh, uh, this uh, point as animation. It is a very tough thing with PowerPoint. Uh, 
and gray root objects. Gray root objects, and uh, choose gray objects. So there is only one gray object, so choose this gray object. And gray white objects as gray. Gray reachable object from this reachable, uh, this chosen gray object. And after that, the, there is no white object uh, reachable from the, this gray object. So we can color, we can block this gray object, chosen object. And uh, repeating this process and go back to Ruby program. Go back to Ruby program and continue Ruby program. And some, uh, so, and after that, back to the, the this GC process. So, this step three, this step three uh, can be uh, incrementary, can do incrementary. And so, after, after that, there is no gray object. There is no gray object. So, we can finish the, the GC marking phase and sweep white objects as unmarked objects. So we can, uh, we can correct such a uh, white objects. So there is a uh, similar problem as a general GC. So when, so stop the garbage collection marking phase and run Ruby program. Ruby program can make a reference from the black object, this black object to the this white object. So mutator can add the reference from the uh, black object to a white object. So it will become a marking, marking miss because we do not traverse from black objects. So uh, we, we need to remember the black, this black object uh, or gray this object as a, this object. So black to gray. And we can traverse uh, this white object correctly. So this is what the incremental GC do. Incremental GC does. And, uh, but as I introduced, uh, there is a right barrier protected object and right barrier unprotected object. So we cannot, we cannot make uh, this algorithm without uh, consider about the right, right body unprotected object. So we decide to use uh, this technique. So introducing the new, new rule. Scan all black object, uh, all the black um, right body unprotected object at, uh, at the end of incremental GC at once. At once means uh, stop the world GC. So right body protected object can point white object. So scan from all black and white right body unprotected object at once. So this is a, a modified one. Please consider that the, there is a uh, black object and black light barrier unprotected object. Light barrier two uh, unprotected, uh, two light barrier unprotected objects. And black uh, light, uh, and there is a situation we can, con we, we need to consider about the, uh, the creating the difference from the, the black light by unprotected object to the white object. But we cannot, uh, we cannot detect such a difference because there is no uh, light barrier from, uh, uh, for this object. So that, uh, so finish the, so this time there is no gray object, so finish the, the marking phase. And after that, scan all black or light by, uh, light by unprotected objects. So there is a two uh, such uh, objects. So we need to think this, it, this, it is a root object. And try again the scanning. And we can make, uh, uh, we can traverse all white objects, all reachable white objects at last and sweep the tra untraversed objects. So this algorithm, algorithm uh, has a uh, problem because 
the pause time is so it, it this this approach can in, increase the pause time uh, relative to the number of light value unprotected objects. So if there is an, uh, many, many light value unprotected objects, then the pause time will be a uh, uh, very long time. So this is why we, need, we name this, this algorithm as a restricted, not a complete incremental GC. But the, this post time is similar or shorter than the minor GC's post time. So I think the, if you are you, you satisfied by a minor GC post time, so it, it, will, it will work for you. If the minor GC post time is not uh, satisfying you, so, so this Ruby 2.2 is not uh, satisfying, is not enough. So there is uh, some implementation details. I make, I rename the uh, function, this function like that. And making the light value protected and protected object uh, with uh, one bit. Uh, and introduce the three more bits to represent uh, these uh, state changes. And these uh, bits are managed by the bitmap, bitmap techniques. So bitmap techniques is easy to manage remember set and fast traversing and easy to get the set of the, for example, the marked light value unprotected object. Uh, so it means the black light value unprotected object. We need to scan at last of the incremental GC, but it is easy to do with bitmap marking. Ah, sorry, bitmap, bitmap technique. Thank you for Aaron. So I, I use the uh, uh, benchmark program uh, written by Aaron Patterson and try, uh, try to check the incremental GC performance. So, so this, is, this figure is the same, uh, same as uh, uh, same as I show at first of this presentation. So we can see the, the so orange line is, uh, orange line is uh, uh, long post time because of the uh, major GC for general GC, but there are no uh, such a long post time for incremental GC. These lines are plot of the uh, 2,500 uh, plots of the GC post time at the first, at the uh, G, uh, major GC. So this first line is the post time of the major GC, but uh, with incremental GC, we can see the only a small amount of post time. And do the lazy sweep. Let's see if only consumes a bit, uh, only few minutes. And this uh, small, small peak is uh, a minor GC, marking time, and so on. So maximum post time, we can reduce. Uh, so generation GC, we need to uh, this time, but only uh, this time incremental GC needs. Okay. So we need to say the one more thing. So incremental GC is not, uh, so does not solve everything. So incremental GC does not guarantee the improving your, your application application response time. So if your application, uh, so, sorry, uh, increment GC does not reduce the total time, so that the big task, so for example, the web application one request needs uh, some several times G major GC, then so the total post, uh, the request response time is not changed. 
So please check the GC count with uh, these methods for each, each request if you need to consider about the, the response time. Okay, so today I show you the uh, Ruby 2.2 has a, a very fancy integrated garbage collection, and I I show I talk about the, how to implement the such a implemented GC for Ruby interpreter. Thank you very much.